Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop for HeavenlyBackyardAstro.com. I'm out here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. I want to do a follow-up. Now, if you watched my uh, video I did a couple of days ago about cleaning the uh, corrector plate of the Celestron 11-inch telescope, and, and if you didn't fall off your chair like I did while I was making it, uh, I want to give you an update on the results. Now, the lens is as clean as it's ever been. It, it, it's just amazing. Now, the uh, secondary mirror was slightly out of collimation, so I recollimated that, and they got it perfectly on that. And I also uh, uh, polar-aligned the scope last night as well. The results, phenomenal. I am very pleased with the results of uh, cleaning out this lens and, and doing the other uh, technical work on the telescope. To give you an example, look at some of these targets. Uh, Jupiter, Saturn, this, these are the best pictures of the planets I've ever gotten so far. And they're still not close to zenith yet in, in opposition. So hopefully they'll get even better with time as time goes by. Uh, the moon last night, a crystal sharp uh, for, uh, a capture of the moon. And also look at the uh, uh, Messier 16, the Eagle Nebula with the Pillars of Creation. Look at the stars. They're nice and crisp and round and not too much of the uh, uh, blue color uh, flaring out from the stars itself. It's just a, a really great image uh, so far. This is only a one hour capture uh, of the uh, Messier 16. I used 120 second subframes and I ended up taking uh, 30 of those uh, that were usable so it turned out to be a one hour exposure which is good. And I used an IR cut filter. Now the camera I used was the ZWO ASI 071 um, one shot color camera. I had it set at zero degrees Celsius for the temperature of the sensor. And I don't go lower than that here in Savannah because the dew last night and the night before was incredibly heavy. And the, uh, the dew heater and the uh, cooling uh, was just about as low as it gets before the sensor would even fog up, even with the dew heater on. And the dew straps on the telescope itself were working overtime last night. The dew was literally dripping off the roof this morning. Anyway, I wanted to give you this update on the results of cleaning the corrector plate. And I'm not as scared as I was now to take it off and put it back on. As a matter of fact, the next day after I did the video, I did take the plate off again and put it back on just to see uh, how scared I was. And it was rather, rather routine now, so I guess do, uh, learning by doing did help quite a bit. So uh, keep in mind that the planets, particularly Jupiter and Saturn, are going to be dominating the summer sky. And also in the western sky, you have Venus uh, hanging low in the west for the next several uh, months. Uh, so we'll have that as well. But Venus is very difficult to photograph. Uh, you don't get much detail out of that unless you have some very special expensive filters. But, Mar but uh, well, Mars is just about uh, out of the picture for the rest of the year. And the uh, conditions though for Jupiter and Saturn, some fantastic images coming in. Hopefully more on the way. So you remember the universe is just filled with majestic glory and all in a sky near you. So get out and look up and look at that nighttime sky and enjoy. And unless you need rain, clear skies everyone.